Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. And thank you, by the way, for the comments and emails and everything else that uh, that everybody has been sending. You know, this this channel is really driven by by all of my viewers um, as far as content. So keep the questions coming and I will keep on uh, using those questions as a good excuse to make another video. I'm still in the hotel. Housekeeping is coming by, so hopefully if you hear pounding on the door or anything like that, uh, it won't be too distracting. Uh, I'll do what I can. But today what I want to talk to you about is a feature inside Onyx RIP, all of the Onyx RIPs, that um, you use whether you know it or not. It's kind of a power feature if you use it correctly, though, and it's, uh, they're called quick sets. Um, and I'm going to show you kind of from 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 basic to very advanced, uh, some of the things that we can do in quick sets and why I like them so much. So let me choose an appropriate printer here. Um, and first I'm just gonna go and open a file. And the reason I'm gonna open a file, so let me choose, I don't know, we'll do, we'll do the fish. Um, look at that right there. Right in my dialog box, it's asking about a quick set, and I can choose, it says default, I can choose any of the quick sets that I currently have in here. All right. Now, if I don't do that for now, if I just choose default and I go ahead and open it, it's, it's going to go ahead and open. But let me show you what's going on. If I go to edit quick sets over here, uh, it brings up this dialog box, and in here, I have all of the current quick sets that I have for this particular printer. I'm going to go ahead and choose default just so I can show you what's going on. And as I look at what's in my default here, I'm getting my media na name uh, page size from the printer. Okay. It's got my color management strategy. It has any sizing information. So set to 100%, uh, auto number of copies, which generally means one. Right, so just your basic stuff. It's the things that you might not think about, but every now and then you want to change. Okay, and that's what default is. And anytime I open a file under the default quick set, it's going to use these settings. If I choose something different, um, and I have a lot of these are these are really some workflow things here. If I if I edit that default and I make a change, um, so if I go back really quick, let's let's say I change my scaling to 200%. Everything from that point forward that I open using the default quick set will be at 200% forever till I go to change it again. But I want to not edit a quick set. I want to add couple of quick sets. Um, this is something I actually legitimately have to do anyway. I'm going to be exhibiting at a trade show in a couple of weeks on a 700 white. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make two because there's typically two types of files that I do. And one I will call trade show demo color only. All right. And I'm going to turn off get median page size from printer. Generally, this is going to be on some sort of a generic self-adhesive vinyl. We'll go specific later, uh, but for now, we'll do it that way. Uh, we'll do eight pass for this, maybe a six pass, depends on the, on the material. Um, my color management strategies, I have all of them right there. I'm kind of partial to, to recommend a G7. It doesn't really matter. Okay, but the big one that I always do, um, for me, kind of important is I always rotate my jobs 180 degrees. And the reason for that is because the, the default behavior, I say this and I'm jinxing it, right? Uh, there's going to be some new firmware update that changes this. But the default behavior on the 700s and 800s is that jobs come out upside down from what they appear in the RIP. I want them to be right reading so as they come out, people can see what they say without having to flip their head or do any uh, any mental or physical gymnastics. So I want them coming out right reading. So I always rotate my jobs 180 degrees. That's the big one that I'm going to do. But you can see I can do all of this stuff right in here. I can change my dimensions. I used to have a quick set uh, in a previous job. I used to have a quick set because I used to get a lot of PowerPoints. And so I would automatically scale those up to an appropriate size because PowerPoints come in very small. Um, uh, I, can, I can add 
you know, any, any of my cutter information uh, over here automatically. If I come under advanced, I can set up marks. Um, so, you know, if I, if I want to put crop marks or, or print a label on them, anything like that, I can, I can do all of that right then and there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK there. And I'm going to create one more. And this one uh, is going to be a little more advanced. And it's going to be trade show demo. And it's going to be a white over flood. So in this particular case, a lot of times what we'll do is print on clear material. I will print color. And then I will print white on top of it. That makes it a second surface sign. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that I have it set to mirror. I also need to rotate that 180 degrees so that it comes out the right way. I also need to add white, and I am not going to be able to do that yet, and I want to show you why. Uh, but let me choose an appropriate mode, and there's an appropriate mode, over flood 100% 100, uh, 100 density. All right. There's no option in here for... my color correction other than applying a filter. So let me show you how to do that. And then we can circle back on this. But I have everything else set for this. And I have the quick set created. So now I can just go to edit quick sets. All right. But let's go ahead and open a file really fast. And we'll choose that fish again, because why not? And it doesn't matter anything else that I do at this point. I just need this to open in Job Editor so that I can do my color correction in Job Editor, which is going to be to actually set up that white over flood. So let's wait a moment for that to open, and then I'll rejoin you. All right, I have the job all set up in Job Editor over here. Um, I don't care about any of the tabs right now except for color correction. So I'm going to go under color correction. I'm going to add my white information, which what I want to do in this particular case is just a flood fill of white. That's it. OK, that's the only thing that I've done in color correction. None of my other tools, I have touched anything in there. And that's really important because what I do next is going to save everything that I've done in the color correction tab. So I'm going to go over here to filter. And then I'm going to go to manager. And at this point, what I'm going to do is export that filter. And sure, I want to save changes to my fish. Sure. And I'm going to go ahead and give this the name of uh, Flood Fill White. Sure. Okay. Doesn't really what matter what I name it. What matters is that I know where it is, which is in my Documents folder, and I can get back to it. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I can close this. I can cancel this. It doesn't even matter. I can close this. Nope. OK. Now that I've done that, I can come over here to my Edit Quick Sets. I can go back to my Trade Show Demo White Over Flood and choose Edit. And now, under Advanced, when I go to my color management, or color correction rather, I can import that file. So now I'm going to navigate to the same, and I'm going to go ahead and select it. So give me a moment here. Flood fill white. Apparently I can't spell fill right. Let me change that, or it will drive me crazy. Flood fill white. All right. So now it's assigned over here. You see that? Now I have that color correction filter. So now let me show you what happens. I have it mirrored. I have it set to 180. Everything is good there. We're going to close this. We're going to wait for this to... Uh, let me get rid of this file here. Yep. And let me open that fish back up. And not in Job Editor, I just want to go directly here. I'm going to go White Over Flood. You see automatically, as soon as I selected it, 
right? If I do default, it's setting it up at zero degrees, no mirror, and when I choose white over flood, it's automatically, it's already showing me that it's going to rotate 180 degrees and mirror my file. But let me show you, once this comes in, you'll see that it's going to have a whole bunch of green in there because it's automatically going to flood fill that, that uh, file. Edge to edge, there's going to be white applied to it. And there we have my job ready to go. And you can't see the green in here, right? Show us signifying that there's white. But if I open this in Job Editor, you will see that it should flood fill this entire file with white ink. And there you go. So now any subsequent job that I load, right, I can load multiple files, right, and they're all going to be done the same way. So I can select these right? All of them and just go ahead and choose trade show demo white over flood. All right. But let me show you something that's even cooler. So every quick set that I create becomes a shared folder on that RIP computer. Now, obviously it's going to require that, you know, your network is set up correctly and that it's allowing sharing and everything like that. But that means that any other computer on the system, including this one, has access to those shared folders. And why that's important is because Onyx also employs something called hot folders. So those shared folders or these hot folders allow you to um, really, really shortcut your, your workflow. And let me show you what that looks like. Let me minimize this. And I have just two folders side by side here. So on the right hand side, this is kind of what it would look like as a as a shared folder. And I, I because I'm in a hotel, I don't want to actually share anything. So I'm just navigating directly. Um, and if you are on the actual computer, it would be in your Onyx folder and in an input folder. You can see all of my printers. So I can choose my 700 white. And then within there, I'm going to choose my white overflood. Now, watch this. I'm just going to take a pile of files, and I am going to not move. I am going to copy, so I'm holding down Control, uh, copy those into that Trade Show Demo White Overflood folder, right? This is what's called a hot folder. I'm going to copy these. I'm going to quickly go back into Onyx, and you're going to see what's happening already see that it's populating that file that that queue with the jobs that i put in there so if it is a printable file and it goes into one of those hot folders onyx will automatically just assume that it is a file that you want to process through that quick set and add it into your queue so that means if i have a mess of files i don't even need to touch onyx directly I can just copy those files directly into that folder and they will start processing depending on how I have it set up with my placement strategies we talked about in a previous video they could just automatically start printing right sending them over to the queue whatever it is that you want to do it can automatically do that right and because these are shared folders that means even if your graphic designer is not on your rip station uh, as long as they have access to those shares, which you do by default unless, unless your network is locked down for some reason. So if they have access to those folders, they can just start copying files directly over there. And you can see I'm ripping that file right now. This one is ripping, right? We're processing these things along the way once this finishes ripping. I got a lot going on in this computer today, and this is not my normal computer, so it is slow, slow, slow. Um, but you should see in just a moment that it actually starts adding to this, uh, to my, my print preview here. As soon as that one clears, I should see the pencils up there in addition to the fish. Come on. There we go. So it's automatically adding it. So it's just adding file, adding file, adding file. And that's the way I would send it over there. Right? I would probably put a little margin between these. Yeah. Right now it's set to zero, so let's throw maybe an inch between them. And, oh, 
not that way. All right, there we go. But you can see it just continues to process these. It continues to add them to the queue. Everything is just, it's all queuing up, right? So that's a, that's a great, great, great time saver. So not only do I not have to go into job editor just to make basic changes that I'm always going to make in a particular workflow, but then I don't even need to really touch Onyx directly in order to start ripping jobs and getting them ready to print. So there you have quick sets uh, from, from beginning to advanced. Um, I hope you learned something from this, and thanks for spending the time with me. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.